Can Morty Friedman still play his own solo? Megadeth recently reunited with Marty Friedman in Tokyo, Japan at the world famous Budokan Arena. But the question is, after being out of Megadeth for a quarter century, does Marty still remember how to play his own solo? So I'm talking about the Tornado of Soul solo, and it's very interesting because this particular piece of music is like a standalone work of art. It's widely considered to be the greatest metal guitar solo of all time. I'm very interested in why that is the case, to be honest. Yes, it has speed and flashy technique, but I think the true secret lies in the musical structure itself. Marty Friedman's capacity to really um, harmonize a lead part with the harmonic elements and the rhythm going on underneath is unparalleled. Now, if you want to get on that level, check out my free guitar newsletter below. That's where you can get free tabs, tricks, and tips. And really, it's about how you think. You know, I know we focus a lot on guitar technique, and sure, Marty can play fast, but it's more about how he's thinking. You know, when specific chords come along, he's outlining those chords in a very skillful way. Now, you can go deeper into music theory and understanding chords and scales like Marty does with my full music theory course in the description. Now this will be interesting. We've got a short here and I'm going to put my cans on and we're going to check it out. So Marty Friedman playing Tornado of Souls with Megadeth live in Japan. This is the solo, the iconic solo that everybody loves. All right, are you ready? Here we go. His phrasing, you know, and his ability to use vibrato, uh, it's more it, its more like speaking. You know, speaking is the most powerful form of communication that Homo sapiens, that's us, have. And Marty has figured out kind of how to transpose that onto uh, an instrument, which is a lifeless object. But he's breathing this humanity into it in a way that most people cannot do. Taste. It's all about taste. Do you have taste as a musician? Are you connected to what resonates with other people or are you just kind of stuck in your own world? Listen to those arpeggios and how they directly speak to the chords that Dave Mustaine and Kiko Lorero are playing in the background, right? I hope Kiko's not jelly sitting there watching uh, Marty tear it up. Or maybe he's thinking, I could do a better job. <laughs> this is what I hear missing with most guitar players when they solo, is they're not connecting to the music they're playing over. Marty is extremely sentient and aware of how Every single thing he's doing has to play into what the rest of the group is doing. Are we on an A minor chord right now? Okay, well, I know that there's three chord tones in A minor, A, C, and E. How can I uh, mention those with not just like coldness, but with, you know, some real style and presence and warmth and using a, a unique mode of expression. That's what you have to be able to figure out if you want to be able to solo in 2023 and actually have people listen. That fast part right there, that's the most iconic part of the solo. He's very specifically outlining each of the chords. And it, you know, is not easy to do, to be honest, because there's like a little key change in there. It shifts from an Aeolian sound to a Dorian sound. But Marty just effortlessly navigates through that minefield. You've been told a lie, and that is that modes are scales. Really, that's just half of the picture. The other 50% is chords. When you're talking about modes, it's clear to me Marty Friedman understands this chordal component to modes, and that's why he's outlining these chord tones as Dave Mustaine is playing, you know, the harmony in the background. A 
what do you think? Is Marty's chops, you know, still in good shape? Can he still shred like he used to? It sounds pretty good to me. I mean, it didn't sound quite as immaculate as uh, like his performance in the early 90s. At, I want to say it was like the Apollo in London, something like that. He just, that was just completely flawless. And of course, you know, he had a lot of practice playing shows every night back then. It's hard to come in after a quarter century and just, you know, kill it right on the spot first time. The main takeaway here, though, is not about criticizing his technique. You have to, please, can we please move past this in the shred community and the metal community? It's about evoking emotion in the listener. Can you utilize the universal language of music and get people to feel something? Learn more about how to do that with my Patreon page below. I'm really pumped about this because we're doing Discord and I get in there every day and we just talk about how to improve, how to reach our goals. And it's much more motivating and inspiring because, you know, there's real people on the other end of that screen. You can watch videos about practice, but there's no actual accountability and these people don't know your name. Of course, you also get access to all of my courses and tabs. It's the deepest source of value I provide on the internet. Now, I'm going to go shred until I turn into a tornado of souls.